Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 4. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 11 of Book 4. In this proposition, we're going to demonstrate the steps required to create a perfect pentagon inside of a circle. And when I mean perfect, I mean equal angular and equal lateral. All the sides are equal, all the angles are equal. So to do this, the first thing we need, of course, is a circle. Now what we need to do is we need to draw an isosceles triangle, similar to the one in the previous proposition, where the angle at the bases is twice the angle at the vertex. Now we take this triangle and we copy it inside the circle, based on the proposition 2 of this book. Da -de -da -de -da -de -da. Takes a bit of time, there we go. So now we have inside this circle a, a triangle where this angle here is twice the angle there. And this angle here is twice the angle there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bisect the angles at C and D, extend the lines out, and where they touch the circle, we will label them B and E. Connect all our points A, B, C, D, E, and we have an equilateral, equal angular pentagon. Now to prove that this is what we say it is, let's look at our angles for a moment. Because we bisected the angle at C, and the angle at C was twice the angle at A, this angle here, A, C, E, is equal to angle at A, and similarly for all the rest of them. So all of these angles are equal. Now, each angle subtends an equal circumference. So AB will be equal to BC, which will be equal to CD, DE, and EA. So this circle has been equally divided into five. Now, if the circumferences are equal, so are the lines subtending the circumference, which means that if the circumference AE is equal to the circumference AB, then the line AE is equal in length to the line AB. So now we have shown that each side of our pentagon is equal. The next thing we need to show is that the angles are equal. All right. Now, AE is equal to AB. So this green circle, or the outer circle if you're colorblind, from B to E is equal to the circumference from D to A. Basically, it's one, two, three sections. And one, two, three sections, since they are all equal, these circumferences are also equal. Now, since the circumferences are equal, the angle created in the segment, those two are going to be equal. So the angle at E will also be equal to the angle at A because the circumferences were equal. So now we've shown that the angle at A is equal to the angle at E. And using methods same methods for all the rest of them, we can show that all of these angles, A, B, C, D, and E, are all equal. So since we've already shown that the lines are equal, and now we've shown that the angles are equal, we have shown that this pentagon is equal angular, equal lateral, and it is what we claim it to be. So that's how you draw a pentagon inside of a circle. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.